So now it's time for part two of our series in Yosemite National Park. If you haven't listened to part one, which includes the history and geological land features of Yosemite, I encourage you to go back one episode and listen to get a fuller feel for this wonderful park. Now, in part two, we learn about some of the living organisms in Yosemite. Yosemite has about 400 species of vertebrates, including fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Those are the big five in the animal kingdom. B farm is how I remember it. B for birds, F for fish, A for amphibians, R for reptiles, and M for mammals. B farm, those are the vertebrates in the animal kingdom. So there are about 400 species of animals in Yosemite which means you're sure to see something. Here is a short list of some of the interesting and unusual animals you could see while visiting. There are between 300 and 400 black bears in Yosemite. Bears in Yosemite usually leave humans alone, but one should be careful around them. More about black bears in our upcoming episode with stories from Yosemite. If you're lucky, you may be able to glimpse an elusive bobcat hunting their prey during the day in the lowlands of the park. Bobcats help keep the mouse and rodent population lower. Yosemite also has Sierra Nevada bighorn sheep, which are an endangered species. They haven't been seen in the park for 100 years until recently. They tend to keep their distance from visitors, so you are most likely to see them through binoculars. Yosemite is the only place in the world you can find the Yosemite Cave Pseudoscorpion. (laughs) It sounds terrifying, but it's just a blind spider that looks like a scorpion and lives in the rocks of the park. (laughs) Climbers going up El Capitan sometimes encounter it. It can't sting you. It just looks frightful. Yosemite is home to North America's largest bat, the Western Mastiff, and the Spotted Bat, which has huge ears and stripes. Just kidding. White spots. It is, it's a spotted bat, not striped. So it has white spots. It's a good thing they named it the Spotted Bat because it has spots, not stripes. Actually, there are 18 species of bats in the park and all the way up to 10,000 feet flying around. The Sierra Nevada red fox was once thought to be extinct in the park, but a few have been sighted in the snow at higher elevations. Apparently, they have a confident stride. Power pose. There's some science behind that too, but we'll save it for another episode. Mule deer are the only kind of deer you can see in Yosemite, but don't feed them because they can't digest most of the food that we humans eat. No tacos. No burritos. Yosemite also has coyotes. At night, you may hear the coyotes howl. It's their way of singing. This is the night. The rodent population includes red and gray squirrels, chipmunks, gophers, and mice. And a five-pound rodent called the marmot hanging out on a sunny rock. Finally, Yosemite has over 150 species of birds. I've seen some fine ones myself. It's a real joy to tune into the bird world around you and see some magnificent creatures that can easily go unnoticed. Well, this episode is about the living organisms of Yosemite, so it wouldn't be right for us to stop with only the animals. The largest living organism in the park isn't an animal. It can grow hundreds of feet tall and weigh tons and tons. They are mainly located in a region of the park called Mariposa Grove. Do you know what they are? Giant sequoias. They don't just grow in Yosemite. And it is likely they used to grow throughout the northern hemisphere, perhaps before the flood. But Yosemite is one of the few places left where they still live and thrive. Here are some astounding facts about these gentle giants. Well, gentle unless you run into it. Then it's pretty hard. They grow to a height of 200 to 300 feet with a diameter 
that's the width at the base of the tree, of 20 to 30 feet across. Oh. And they can live to be over 2,000 years old. Happy birthday! Sequoia bark. Just the bark of the tree can be three feet thick at the base of the trunk. Something significant about their bark is that it provides fire protection for the trees. Fire, you don't scare me. Ha 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 ha. Sequoias are evergreens, so their pine needles stay green all year long, and they have seed cones. Even though sequoias are massive, their cones are only about one to two inches long. So tiny. They can have about 11,000 of these little cones. And with about 230 seeds per cone, that's, that's a lot of seeds. About 2,530,003, just to be really exact. If you think the cones are tiny, just take a look at their seeds. These massive trees invest all of the hopes for their future generations into a tiny seed. It would take about five of them, five of these little seeds, to fill up one inch. Maybe you have some red pepper flakes in your home. Those are about the size of giant sequoia seeds. Absolutely incredible. The vital information for the life of the entire tree and endless future generations is held in that one seed. All it needs is the right environment to nurture it and life will grow. You may be young, or you may be older. Maybe you feel like life is hard and you are not thriving. God sees you. God cares. He wants to nurture you, even if you're in a hard place. He can still help you grow and thrive. The life potential that God has placed in your heart can change the world. You and I may have made some terrible mistakes or missed hundreds of opportunities to make positive choices But God has not abandoned us. Look to Him. Let the light of His love shine down on you and live a life of meaning and goodness. If you are listening to this podcast, there is still time to invite God to come live in you and through you. Listeners, are you ready for a quiz? I'm going to invite my children to come play along. Edmund? Emma? Eden, are you ready to play? We're ready. ready. Here's how this will work. I'll ask a question, give you two or three options, and you answer with which you think is correct. Question one. What are the five types of animals in the animal kingdom? Option one. Birds, foxes, arthropods, rabbits, and measles. Or option two. Birds, fish, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. The second one. The second one. Option two is the correct one. Remember, bee farm. Farm like animals. Birds, fish, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. Question two. About how many animals are there in Yosemite National Park? 300 or 400? 400. 400 is correct. That's a lovely amount of animals. Plenty to see within the park. Question three. What animal helps keep the rodent population under control? Is it the bats or bobcats? The bobcats! Bobcats, the friendly furry felines. Question four. Thousands of rock climbers go to Yosemite to climb what famous granite cliff? El Capitan or Cathedral Peak? El El Capitan! Yes, El Capitan. And question five. What is the giant tree you might see in Yosemite? Elm, aspen, or sequoia? Sequoia. I like sequoia. Sequoia is the one. How did you do at home? Did you learn something new? I've been to Yosemite multiple times, and yet I learned quite a few new things for this episode. It's fun to learn new things. I've had fun learning together with you. This series about Yosemite isn't over. Next time... Hear stories I've experienced while in Yosemite National Park. I'm Moose Jaw Matt. Until next time, keep sanitizing your bats. No, no papa, no, papa. That's, that's wrong. Not. Okay, uh, keep brushing your teeth. No. no, papa, that's good, but that's not correct. Yeah, yeah. 
keep flying with bats? No, no keep exploring your world. Okay, okay. I'm Moose Jaw Matt. Until next time, keep exploring your world and your national parks. Look on Facebook, Instagram, and our website for pictures of sequoias to show their massive size.